I know a lot of you guys can relate to this. In creative, you're literally a god and you've just never seen yourself play better before. It feels like you're the best player in existence. Yeah, get fucking shit on! But then as soon as you get into tournament, you're so bad and you just cannot fight for the life of you and you miss every edit, you make dumb decisions, you die to the worst players ever. So yeah, the other day I was actually scrolling through Fortnite competitive Reddit, like looking for ideas and coming off YouTube ideas. And eventually I saw a post from someone and they were asking why they suck in game but they're so good at creative. And I knew as soon as I saw this post, this is definitely a good video to make because I have seen so many people for like the past years of my experience in Fortnite, people having the exact same issue. So why is this a thing and how do we fix it? The first, we're actually just going to explain why this is a thing. There are many, many reasons, but one of the factors is the pressure and also the type of pressure in creative compared to like in game. In creative, obviously nothing happens when you die unless you're playing a wager. So obviously like the confidence you get from creative and perhaps in creative is not actually going to carry over to in game. Because like say once you play creative for hours, like you're playing for hours and the whole time you don't care if you actually die then obviously once you get in game when there's something on the line and you're gonna die and you have to go into another game, you're obviously going to just play really nervous and not be as confident as you were in creative. And yeah, apart from what I just said, like your brain actually just gets really used to the environment in creative, just like the feel of it, because it's a little bit different here and there to arena, even though like the mechanics and stuff and shooting people might be the exact same, it just feels different to your brain. So once you like get really comfortable with that creative environment, once you go into an actual game, it just has a different feel, even though like I said, the mechanics might be the exact same. Your brain is just in a different environment, so it's being more careful. And now actually the biggest reason it seems like this is because it's actually the way you practice in creative compared to arena. Because think about now, like how most people or how you actually practice in creative, like think about your play style in creative, like like I know people think like joking around like running on edit causing everyone It's actually like a more subtle playstyle that people do in creative Like you actually in creative like you actually build and edit so much more and kind of go for little tricks Or you might do like a few edits that just jump you into someone's box And then you pray and just hope you go for a one pump without any way of disengaging or backing out If it's a bad angle or a bad pump or you just miss But now the playstyle you want is actually more of like a really slow thinking type of playstyle. style you go for crazy angles little flanks not building much just using your gun mostly and just like really using your brain in the fight instead of just like constantly having your builds out what i really think of when i talk about this is mitro right so back when mitro played if you actually watch some of his clips then you can definitely notice his playstyle in arena and like creative like he does all that like weird stuff with like weird angles that you might not expect he like has his gun out more and he like goes for pre-fires he doesn't edit much he just does consistent edits and like it's just really smart with his fighting and i actually show you a few clips of mitra's fights back in the day right now and i just really want you to focus on like how he's fighting like his play style and how slow he is and how much he's not building and just using his gun Okay, but how do I fix this? So first of all, cut out so much of your creative time, especially if you know you've already got good mechanics. The biggest thing you can get from creative is actually just the practice from the mechanics, like getting your mechanics good, which is actually useful. But then obviously the fighting aspects can be practiced way better in game. Yeah, cut out your creative time heaps, like still play creative, but especially if you have good mates, play way more arena and stuff to be creative. And what do you do with this extra time you say? Well, go into solo arena, and just load in, go maybe like some POI that you want to practice for like a solo cash cup or a duo cash cup or just hot drop if you're good enough. After that, just keep every single person you see, even if they're way better than you, do not hide and play for points. You need to get in as many difficult fights as possible and be really stressed out because that's how you're gonna improve. And like people may find this cringe or like they might think it's gonna be really boring or be like, oh, the queues will be so long. 
but overall that is definitely worth it to play solo arena. What's cringe and boring is usually what's going to make you better. And I say solo arena because it's one, it's an in-game game mode, so the environment is going to be similar to tournament. And number two, it's realistic fighting in tournaments, like you have limited mats, limited guns, limited heals, third parties, everything. Obviously people are going to be trying harder in tournaments when fighting, but it's the closest thing you can get. And number three, in arena solos, you're like completely relying on yourself, so if you die and make a bad play, then you know it's completely on you and you can't blame anyone else, so you improve way quicker that way. And also your confidence improves way quicker from it, because if you do good by yourself, then you're obviously going to be way more confident in yourself compared to if you did good in like duo as a trio as arena, then like once you get into a tough situation, you're not going to really be confident in yourself. Also something I didn't mention, arena solos is also really good, because for some reason in arena solos, everyone, if you're played a solo arena before you'll notice everyone is trying like so much harder than any other game mode except tournaments obviously which is better for you even if they're playing really cringe it is definitely better for you sometimes it's gonna piss you off you're like this is so dumb what are they doing like you just need to keep playing because trust me it is definitely the best practice for fighting like you'll actually notice like most people that can just run around a solo arena and drop 20 to 30 bombs every single time are usually actually a way better fighters in game now the next little thing i'll talk about is in creative this time how are you spending your time because a lot of people they'll play creative they'll do like build fights like against people worse than them or they'll just play random ffas like with your time in creative like your limited time now since i said not to spend as much time you need to be playing realistic 1v1s against like better players or similar skill players but yeah if you do also have like really bad mechanics like you can also just use some of your time like practicing like build fights and stuff that solely improve your mechanics because build fights they don't really improve anything except mechanics and also when you're playing these realistic 1v1s you need to be practicing that play style that i was talking about and if you're doing this playstyle correctly, you're almost never going to get clips. And also, you're probably going to find people calling you cringe and annoying. So if that happens, you know you're doing it right. And another really, really good tip. I don't know why I mentioned this so late. But it's on how you should always be focusing more on shooting your gun rather than building. Which is the opposite of what most people do in creative. 